Good Tuesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Strong low pressure in the northeastern Gulf at 963 millibars this afternoon is creating high winds across parts of southeastern Alaska. High wind warnings are in effect for the inner channels from Kupreanoff Island to Etolan Island. In the southern inner channels where winds could be upwards of 40 miles per hour from the south and east with gusts over 60. The highest wind reported so far has been around 60 miles per hour in Kaufman Cove. Uh, some light uh, wind damage has been reported in other portions of southeast around the Juneau area. Uh, Skagway is also expecting winds with uh, 35 to 45 mile an hour uh, sustained winds with gusts to 60 possible through uh, 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Again, the winds will likely increase through the evening and be strongest overnight and into Wednesday morning. So watch for additional possibilities for damage there and secure any loose items or ships uh, on their moorings. High wind warning is in effect there, but uh, just across the water a little bit. A winter storm warning remains in effect until 6 o'clock tonight for the Klondike and Haynes highways, including Skagway. A storm total snowfall of 8 to 14 inches is possible along the Klondike there with the highest amounts near White Pass. Over a foot to a foot and a half of snow possible along the Haines Highway with the highest amounts near the Canadian border. Spotters report that the Haines Highway uh, is, is much, has as much as 10 inches of new snow since early this morning and reports probably indicate that snow is changing to rain around the Haines area, uh, that of as of earlier today. Uh, it's not just southeast that's having uh, potential winter problems, but areas around uh, Keystone Canyon to Thompson Pass are under a blizzard warning until 9 o'clock tonight. Up to an inch of snow is possible, but visibility could be reduced to one quarter mile at times with gusts up to 60 miles per hour through uh, the Thompson Pass area. Also for the Kuskokwim Delta, plan on very cold weather. Not only will the temperature be cold, but northeast winds 10 to 25 miles per hour could drop the wind chill value or what it feels like to 30 to 45 below as high pressure blows a north and easterly wind in. Watch for continued snow showers across the west coast. Rain and snow showers for the Aleutians. Rain and snow showers for the northern Gulf with mainly rain back across southeastern Alaska and most population centers. And periods of snow showers will be possible for south central with considerable cold for the interior, north slope, and the western interior. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorology.